This is the larger bone model that we have. And I have resting on the top of this bone model the a split open femur, which you can see the length of as we pan up and down. Now, the reason I'm showing you this bone model with this actual cut open bone is to give you some orientation about what we're seeing here with this bone model. If you look at closely at the shaft, the cut open shaft of the femur, let's do that, you can see the two types of bone. You have the compact bone, which is over here on the outer surface, and inside you can see that we have a type of bone which is referred to as spongy bone. Now, the reason we're looking closely at this cut bone surface is that the model represents a piece of bone that would correspond to a section of what we're looking at right over here. So if you were to just take a little piece of this bone and blow it up, you would have this bone model. One of the important differences to keep in mind when we compare the, the model to the actual bone specimen here is that the bone model is meant to represent a living piece of bone with living cells within it. This bone specimen is essentially the remnants of what was once a living bone. This femur is dead. There's no living tissue on this femur. We're going to see things on this model, living things, which you would not see if you were to closely look at this preserved remnant of bone we have right over here.